The researcher wants to know if statisticians in the private sector are paid better than statisticians in the public sector. She selects random samples from both areas. The results are summarized below. Form a 95% confidence interval for the average difference between the salaries of government statisticians and private sector statisticians. Assume equal variances. So notice the sample sizes are small. So we're looking for a t-test here, or a t-interval, I should say. t-interval because it says form a 95% confidence interval, right? So we're going to do a confidence interval using, because of these small sample sizes, the T procedure. So let's go ahead and do that then. We're going to turn on our calculator here. We'll press the stat key. Once you have the stat key up, you're going to arrow over to the right until you get to where it says calculate. Now we're going to look down the line for confidence intervals, but for two samples, and in this case, because of small samples, we're going to be looking for the T interval. So we'll scroll down this list until we see something that says two sample T interval. So I see option zero there, right? You see option zero there, it says two sample T interval. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. Once I do that, again, we have this question the calculator wants to ask for us. It says, do we have stats or do we have the raw data? The raw data would be the list of all the numbers. So do we have all 26 uh, government employee salaries? Do we have all private sector, 28 private sector employee salaries? Well. If you um, had that information, you'd highlight data and you'd come in there and enter that data into your list, plural, right? And then you would go ahead and run your confidence interval like that. But for us, we have summary data, summary statistics, sorry. So we have the N values, we have the X bar value, we have the S values that's already been summarized for us. So we're going to hit enter on the stats option. Then we're going to scroll down to where we see the X bar values first. So X bar one, let's let the government be the first one, right? So X bar one will be. 35.5, right? And then we'll scroll down to where it says standard deviation for the first population. That's going to be 4.16, so 4.16. Then we'll scroll down to where it says N1, that's going to be 26, right? And then scroll down to where it says X bar 2, that's 54.6. Then down to where it says standard deviation, that's 4.4. Then finally, the second sample size, which is only 28. Okay, so we've highlighted that, and now it's asking for the confidence level in the problem. It is 95%, so we're gonna leave it as 0.95 there. Now I have this question, it says pool, yes or no. What they're saying, do you wanna pool the variances, in other words? Do you wanna pool the um, standard deviations to produce one pooled estimate of the population standard deviation. So we'll do that if we have the assumption of equal variances. So if it says assume equal variances, we'll say yes to the pooled question. If it says do not assume equal variances, we would say no at the pooled question. So equal variances, then we say yes to the pool. It means we want to pool the two variances together to produce um, a pooled estimate, one single pooled estimate for the two of them. All right, so calculate afterwards and we're done. And the calculator takes a minute here because it's a T interval. It's a little harder for the calculator to come up with the, um, the critical values for the problem. But when it does that, it gets minus 21.44 up to negative 16.76. Now notice the interval is entirely negative, and that would imply that essentially, um, based on how we did the subtraction, that the private sector statisticians make more money on average than the government statisticians. There's a statistically significant difference between them since they're, both of the intervals here are negative, which means the private was clearly bigger than the government. All right, if you scroll down, you can see some of the summary information it gives you. Now, the first things we entered are cells, right? We entered the X bar one, the X bar two, the S1, the S2. But you notice it also gives you the degrees of freedom, which is nice. And then finally, it tells you the pooled estimator for the sample variances or for the population variances. So we assumed an equal variance. It gives us a pooled estimate of that variance based on the sample variances we gave it. Then we have uh, N1 and N2 provided. Okay, so that's really nice. It gives you the pooled estimator, so you can write that down if somebody asked you for it on a test. And you have the degrees of freedom, which you also um, could be asked for on an exam. And that's it.